Now here the question is, if z is any complex number satisfying mod of z minus 3 plus 2 iota less than or equal to 2, then we need to find minimum value of mod 2z minus 6 plus 5 iota. Now first we will draw this region. Now this is your axis. Now this region, it represents all the points on or inside the circle whose center is at 3 plus 2 iota and radius equals 2 units. This is 2 units. So we are talking about all the points on or inside this circle. Now we need to find minimum value of 2z minus 6 plus 5 iota. Now what we will do is we will take this 2 out then we can write z minus and it will be 3 minus 5 by 2 iota. Now this is modulus and any modulus is nothing but distance between two points. So here we are talking about distance between z and this point which is 3 minus 5 by 2 iota. Now 3 minus 5 by 2 iota will be this point. So this is 3 minus 5 by 2 iota. Now we need to find this minimum distance. Now minimum distance is given by this value and this value is nothing but 5 by 2. So minimum value of this modulus function will be 2 times 5 by 2 and which is 5. So answer to this question is simply 5. Now here the question is let z1 and z2 be two complex numbers satisfying mod z1 equals 9 and mod of z2 minus 3 minus 4 iota is equal to 4 then minimum value of mod z1 minus z2 is. Now we will draw the axis. Now this first complex number z1 it will lie on a circle with center at origin and radius equals 9 units. So it will be this circle. So center at origin and this is 9 units. Now z2 will lie on a circle whose center is at 3 plus 4 iota. So it will be at 3 plus 4 iota and its radius is 4. So it will be this circle with center at 3 plus 4 iota. Now it says we need to find minimum value of mod z1 minus z2. Now z1 it lies on this outer circle and z2 it lies on this smaller circle and we know that any modulus is nothing but distance. So we need to find minimum distance between these two circles and we know that minimum distance it will occur along the line joining their centers. So this distance it is minimum. So minimum value of z1 minus z2 will be given by this radius which is 9 and then minus this distance which is 5 units and then plus this radius which is 4 so 9 minus 9 which is 0 so minimum value of mod z1 minus z2 it must be 0 so these two circles basically they touch each other and that is the answer to this question let us take another question in which is let z1 is represented by set of all points which are mod z1 equals 12 and z2 is given by set of points which is mod z2 minus 3 minus 4 iota equals 5 we need to find minimum and maximum value of mod z1 minus z2 now first one is z1 so mod z1 equals 12 that means z1 will lie on a circle with center at origin and radius equals 12 units. So z1 will lie on this circle with center at origin and radius equals 12 units. And for the second one, we know that its center is at 3 plus 4 iota and its radius is 5. So it will be this circle 
which center it 3 comma 4 and radius equals 5 units and this is your z2 now we need to find minimum and maximum value of mod z1 minus z2 now mod z1 minus z2 is nothing but distance between z1 and z2 now the minimum distance between z1 and z2 it will be along the line joining their centers and it will be this distance so value of mod z1 minus z2 minimum it will be this entire distance which is radius of this larger circle 12 minus diameter of this smaller circle which is 10 so it should be 2 units and maximum value of z1 minus z2 will again occur along this line and it is this distance now this distance is 12 units and length of diameter is 10 so it will be 12 plus 10 which is 22 units so the minimum value of z1 minus z2 is 2 and its maximum value is 22. Now here the question is if z is a complex number such that mod of z is greater than or equal to 2. So in this case I will represent all the points on or outside the circle with center at origin and radius equals 2 units. So it will contain all the points on or outside this circle with center at origin and radius equals 2 units. Now it says we need to find minimum value of mod z plus 1 by 2. Now we know that any modulus is nothing but distance between two points. Now we are looking for distance between z minus of minus 1 by 2. So we need to find minimum distance between minus 1 by 2 and all these points lying on the circle or outside this circle. So the minimum distance will be this distance. So minimum value of z plus 1 by 2 it will be this 2 minus 1 by 2 and it will be nothing but 3 by 2. So this minimum value it will lie in the interval 1 comma 2 and that's your option B. Now here the question is if mod of z plus 4 is less than or equal to 3, we need to find maximum value of mod z plus 1. Now this is nothing but a circle with center at minus 4 and radius equals 3 units. So it will represent all the points on or inside this circle. Now this point is minus 7 and this is minus 1. Now we need to find maximum value of mod z plus 1. Now mod z plus 1 is distance between z and minus 1. So this is minus 1 and the point which is farthest from this point is this other point. So maximum value of this modulus will be diameter of this circle which is 6 and that's your option 1. What about minimum? Minimum will be this point itself and it will be 0. Now here the question is, among the complex numbers z, find z which satisfy mod of z minus 25 iota is less than or equal to 15 and having least positive argument. So we will draw the axis. And then we have points on or inside this circle with center at 25 iota. And radius equals 15 units. So this is 25 and this is 15. Now it says we have to find that complex number z having least positive argument. So here argument is 90 and if we move towards right argument keeps decreasing we will have least positive argument when this line will be tangent to this circle. So we are looking for this point say z now this is 90 this is 25 and this is 15 we'll find the value of r now r square will be 25 square minus 15 square that is 625 minus 225 that is 400 that is the value of r it must be equal to 20.
Now we'll find this theta also. Now, if this is theta, this is 90 minus theta, this again is theta. Now we can write this z as r cos theta plus iota sin theta. So this z will be r, which is 20. Now cos theta. Now in this right angle triangle, cos theta is 15 by 25, which is 3 by 5 plus iota and sin theta will be simply 4 by 5. So it will be 4. So that should be 12 plus 16 iota. So this complex number z having least positive argument will be 12 plus 16 iota. Now here the question is, let S denote set of all complex numbers satisfying this inequality mod of z minus 5 iota equals 3. So we'll draw this region which is set of all points lying on or inside this circle with center at 5 iota and radius equals 3 units. Now this distance is 5 and radius is 3. Now let's say find the complex number z having least positive argument and maximum positive argument. Now least positive argument will be when it is tangent to this right side and it will be maximum positive argument when it will be tangent to this left hand side. Now this is 5, radius is 3 units, so it will be this 4 unit, it will be this 4. Now we need to find z1 and z2. Now suppose this angle is theta, this angle will also be theta. So we can write z1 as 4 cos theta plus iota sine theta. So it will be 4. Now what is cos theta? Cos theta is 3 by 5. And sine theta is 4 by 5. So it will be 12 by 5 plus 16 iota by 5. So this is the complex number having least positive argument. Now from symmetry we can say this z2 will be at minus 12 by 5 and then plus 16 by 5 iota. Now it says we need to find z having least modulus. Now least modulus will be this point and this point will be 5 and this distance is 3. So it will be simply 2 iota and z with maximum modulus will be this point which is simply this is 2 2 plus 6 is 8 so it will be simply 8 iota